Are you ready to embark on an adventure through forgotten mansions? What if I told you that these abandoned structures are not only full of mystery, but also valuable treasure? From paintings that are worth $3 million by legendary artists, to rare motorcycles, only a few in existence, these mansions are just waiting to be discovered. Join us as we take a journey through 15 incredible things found in lost mansions. Number 15. Trove of Coins Found in the Wall Some people say that money doesn't grow on trees, but Jeff Beidelman found out that it can grow inside of walls. Jeff Beidelman was a man on a mission, hired by the children of the deceased owners to look for valuable items within the house, which had been empty for nearly two decades. That's when he found a large stash of coins upstairs and put them in a big plastic bag, but as he was leaving, there was a hole in the wall that sparked his curiosity. According to the daughter of the owner, there was a legend that the family used to hide money in walls. More money? Well, that was enough for Beidelman to investigate it. As he tapped on the wall below the hole, he heard a metallic sound and then broke it open. And that's when he was amazed to see a flood of coins come pouring out. The coins had been packed so tightly that they actually burst out of the wall. They ranged from 1826 to 1964 and included rare types of coins like large cents and seeded Liberty Dimes. Beidelman estimated that the collection could have well been worth up to $200,000, while the owners had just hoped for at least $100,000. Beidelman took the coins to his shop and then began sorting and cataloging them, and he also listed some of them on eBay where collectors could bid on them. He obviously had to share the loot with the owner, but it was more than what he had bargained for. For security reasons, the owners requested that he not disclose their names or the home's location following a recent burglary attempt nearby when a funeral was taking place. Number 14. Stash of Cash in a Bag Photography is the alias of the man who loves photographing abandoned buildings for their uncanny beauty and on one of these adventures, he discovered something that changed his life. To respect the areas that he visits, he adheres to the take-only-photographs-leave-only-footprints rule, but one day he came across an abandoned mansion in Canada with a horrible background. Using a snowstorm to cover his tracks, he then went exploring into the abandoned home. The house served as a time capsule, preserving the memories of the family that had lived there. He would then photograph everything that he saw, including several antiques such as a typewriter, a sewing machine, a radio, a piano, and a record player. He also discovered some personal items like photos, letters, books, and more, which all allowed him to relive the memories of the family that had once existed in the home. But then the strangest thing occurred. Hidden inside of a home hardware bag, he then discovered $6,800 in cash. The bag had contained tightly wrapped bundles of American dollars, each featuring a date, and instead of keeping the money for himself, he made it his mission to track down the home's owner and then return the funds. It turns out that the original owner had passed away in the home while fighting cancer, and she had left the property to her three children who were now living very far away and not speaking to each other due to personal issues. Eventually, the photographer discovered one of the siblings who owned the property and called her up to explain who he was and what he had discovered. The owner would first be upset at the knowledge that someone was going through her property without permission and taking photos because, of course, who wouldn't be? However, he explained that he only takes photos and leaves footprints behind. The owner eventually agreed to meet with him and even gave him a tour of the home, sharing her childhood memories and stories with him. After gaining the trust of the owner, he then returned the $6,800 that he had found in the home hardware bag. The owner was both surprised and grateful for the honesty and generosity, even though at first she would be skeptical. Instead of benefiting from the money that he had found, he chose to do the right thing and return it to its rightful owner. His charity offered some closure to a family who had lost so much. Number 13. 600 Gold Coins in the Cellar During the demolition of an abandoned house in Brittany, France, construction workers stumbled upon a cache of 600 gold coins in the cellar. The unexpected discovery came to light after the workers had found a mysterious shell-shaped container. They were Belgian coins that dated back to 1870 and featured the image of Leopold II, the reigning king of Belgium at the time. The hoard of coins was worth an estimated 100,000 pounds, according to local media. The contents would be secured and then investigated for their origin. 
Interestingly, this was not the first time that French workers had found a stash of exactly that amount. In 2014, three men in Normandy found a secret hoard that was worth almost a million. The find included six gold bars that weighed one kilogram each and 600 gold coins dating from 1924 and 1927. In that instance, the men decided to keep the treasure, but they were caught by the authorities after tax officials had noticed one of the men depositing high-valued checks. They were then charged with theft. Similarly, in another discovery of valuable gold, German archaeologists would uncover over $1 million worth of Roman gold and silver jewelry that an amateur treasure hunter had illegally dug up in a forest. The treasure hunter initially kept the discovery a secret, and it's now believed to have been sold off, in part, on the black market. However, the authorities eventually seized the treasure when it came to their attention. It seems like just because you find some treasure in the woods or even a mansion, it doesn't mean that you have the rights to it. The rule of finders keepers may sound fun, but it won't protect you from the law. One must always remember that you have to follow proper legal procedures the next time that you go exploring in your great-grandfather's house. Number 12. A doorstop statue became a Louvre stopper. Some people will use statues to decorate their homes, but one Scottish family found another that most of us couldn't even think of. A statue that was made in the 18th century by a famous French artist would be found in a surprising place being used as a doorstop. And it was no ordinary statue. It was the bust of a Scottish politician named Sir John Gordon that was created in 1728 with an estimated value of $1.4 million in 2016. The artist was a renowned sculptor who worked for the French royal court and made many works of art, and the statue of Gordon was one of the early works that he created, making it highly valuable. Councillor Maxine Smith discovered the statue in 1998 while visiting an industrial estate in Scotland. That's where she saw the statue holding open the door of a shed, which was about to be demolished. As soon as she saw it, she knew that it was a great work of art and contacted experts to come in and examine it. The expert then confirmed that the statue was an original and that it was very rare and valuable. The statue had been missing for well over 200 years, so how did it end up in Scotland? Well, nobody really knows. In 2016, it was restored and then placed on display at the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, which is one of the most famous and prestigious museums in all of the world. It's known for its collection of masterpieces and statues, and this was another valuable addition. The statue went from being a doorstop to being a star attraction in a museum. That is a major glow up. Number 11. Inherited house turns into a gold mine. A Frenchman inherited a home from a family member who had passed away, and while going through the house, his luck changed forever. In the house, he found a huge stash of gold coins and bars. The glittering treasure trove, worth $3.7 million, would be found in the man's newly acquired home in Normandy and consisted of thousands of gold coins and bars that weighed 100 kilograms in total. A local auctioneer by the name of Nicholas Fearfort confirmed that the gold had been extremely well hidden and was only discovered when the new owner began moving around furniture. It turns out that the hoard was located in many places, which included beneath furniture, under piles of linen, and even in the bathroom. The auctioneer himself had overlooked it during a previous visit in order to value the furniture in the home. The gold consisted of 5,000 gold pieces, two bars of 12 kilos, and 37 ingots of one kilo. The certificates of authenticity would later be found in the deceased's estate, and it was discovered that the gold was bought in the 1950s and 60s. However, the new owner might not be able to enjoy the full benefits of his newfound wealth, as the tax man might take a significant chunk out of it. Well, in France, there's an inheritance tax that applies to gifts and inheritances. The tax rate depends on how much money that you receive and how you're related to the person who gave it to you. In this instance, it's a 45% inheritance tax, and there's also an estate tax that applies to property that's located in France. The tax rate can be anywhere up to 60%. The man might have to pay both taxes if the person who left him the house did not declare the gold, so it's not so fortunate in the end if that's the case. Number 10. Nostalgia Trip Freaktography, the urban explorer, is at it again. 
where this time he takes us down memory lane as he explores a dilapidated home in the suburbs that's been abandoned for quite some time. The house is full of timeless treasures from the past that remind everyone of the good old days. One of the cool things that he found was a Polaroid camera, the popular device of the 1970s and 80s. While the photos that you would get were not very clear, it is a classic that everyone loved. Another treasure that was discovered was a toy motorcycle that looked like a tricycle. It would be based on a popular television show called Chips, which featured two police officers for the California Highway Patrol on motorcycles who solved crimes. The toy had stickers with the show's logo and the officers' names, bringing back memories of childhood adventures and playtime. Freaktography also stumbled upon some dolls of Barbie and her friends. Those dolls that he found had clothing from different decades, which included a 1950s dress for Barbie, a 1970s dress for Midge, and a 1980s Zubass pants for Ken. In addition to the toys and the dolls, Freaktography discovered a projector and a record player for kids, but that wasn't everything. He found plastic toys featuring E.T., Yoda, and other Star Wars characters, reminding us of some of the classic movies of the past decades. This treasure trove of nostalgia could be worth a fortune depending on who you talk to about it, but even if you're not an avid collector, you can't help but appreciate how cool the house is. Number 9. Inherited Supercar Collection Imagine inheriting your grandma's estate and stumbling upon not one, but two dusty supercars in the garage. That is the stuff of dreams. Yet for one lucky woman, it became a reality. After unlocking the garage, she was then greeted with two dazzling supercars that were covered in dust and rust, seemingly forgotten to time for decades. The first vehicle that she came upon was a costly Lamborghini Countach, which anyone would recognize as a classic Italian supercar from a long distance away. But to everyone's surprise, a Ferrari 308 was also hiding in the garage right next to the Lamborghini. The woman had no idea that her grandmother had a secret passion for these types of vehicles, and no one in the family was aware that the hidden treasures existed. The garage had not been open since the 1980s, and the automobiles had simply been sitting there the whole time, just waiting to be discovered and then set free. The cars are not only uncommon and precious, but they're also historically and culturally significant. The Lamborghini Countach 500S was manufactured in limited quantities between 1974 and 1990, making it a highly sought-after collector's item amongst vehicle aficionados. In fact, only 2,000 of them were ever built. Similarly, the Ferrari 308, which was built from 75 to 85, was an iconic sports car of the day, appearing in numerous television shows and films. The woman who discovered these jewels wishes to bring them back to their former grandeur. However, what happens to the cars will be decided jointly by her and her siblings. Whether they keep or sell the automobiles, these rare supercars and historic vehicles are sure to command a high price. Many car aficionados dream of finding a rare old car that's worth millions of dollars, and this find was surely a stroke of luck. Number 8. 170-Year-Old Ring While attics can be a terrifying place for some people, this one held a treasure that was well worth overcoming your fears. In the UK, a woman was tasked with cleaning out her late father-in-law's mansion when she would stumble upon a metal box in the attic. But like any good treasure hunt, she had to find the key as well. After searching for the matching key, that's when she found a ring inside the box that would catch her attention. The ring featured an inscription which sparked the woman's curiosity, and she then consulted with experts. Jeffrey Munn, a jewelry expert, confirmed that there was no reason to believe that the ring was anything other than genuine. In fact, despite the ring appearing insignificant upon first glance, it turned out to be worth up to $26,000 due to its inscription, which dated back to March of 1855. Things then took a turn for the even more bizarre, when the woman discovered a secret compartment inside of the ring containing a small braid of hair. This practice was common in the 19th century, as people would often create jewelry with pieces of hair to remember their deceased loved ones. The woman believes the hair and the ring belong to Charlotte Bronte, one of England's most celebrated poets and novelists known for her classic English literature. This ring is a fascinating relic of the past, offering a glimpse into the personal life of an iconic author who lived over 170 years ago. 
It turns out even seemingly insignificant items can hold great value and historical significance, so perhaps you shouldn't throw out any of those rusty things that you may find in your attic and get them checked out first. Number 7. Escobar Vision of Riches Nicholas Escobar, the nephew of the legendary drug lord Pablo Escobar, claims to have discovered a plastic bag containing $18 million in cash buried within a wall in one of his uncle's estates in Colombia. Nicholas claimed that a vision had guided him to the hideout and that he had previously discovered money in other locations where his uncle had hidden millions to avoid capture. After years of battling the Colombian government and law enforcement agencies to prevent extradition to the United States, Pablo Escobar was put down in a police shootout in 1993. He was thought to have been the seventh richest person in the world at the height of his career, and following his death, rumors would spread all across Colombia about the large sums that he had stashed away in various locations to keep them out of the clutches of law enforcement. Nicholas Escobar said that he had discovered a typewriter, satellite phones, a golden pen, a camera, and an undeveloped film roll on the property. He mentioned that he had been living in the apartment where he discovered the hidden treasure for the past five years and that the smell inside was unbearable, far worse than anything that had died. Some of the banknotes that he found were decades old and had decayed, rendering them unusable. In an interview with the Colombian television channel, Nicholas recalled his experiences of growing up with his uncle and accompanying him many multiple times. He even claimed that he was once kidnapped by people who were looking for Pablo Escobar's whereabouts. While having a rich uncle might sound cool, it seemed like it was more trouble than it may have been worth for Nicholas. Number 6. Marthe de Florian's Portrait In 2010, an executor of a 91-year-old woman's estate discovered an apartment in Paris that had been untouched for 70 years. The owner had fled to the south of France before World War II. Nobody knows why, but she never came back, leaving that apartment to collect dust for decades. When a team would be sent in to investigate the apartment, they discovered a treasure trove of turn-of-the-century objects hidden beneath a layer of thick dust. Several paintings were also discovered, which included one portrait of a lady in a pink dress that would prove to be the most remarkable. The painting was analyzed and found to be the work of 19th century Italian artist Giovanni Baldini, and it would depict the artist's muse, an actress named Martha de Florian, whom he painted wearing a pink muslin evening dress. The painting, completed in 1898, showed de Florian at the age of 24, and shockingly enough, the owner of the apartment turned out to be de Florian's granddaughter. The actress had a long list of admirers, which included the two-time Prime Minister of France, and the painting of her was sold at auction for a record-breaking $3.4 million, making it one of the most expensive paintings by Baldini that he had ever created. Number 5. Mayan Treasure in Junk One man's trash is another man's treasure, and that's the kind of mantra that Nick DeMola goes by. In 2009, he, a junk removal specialist, discovered a trove of ancient Mayan artifacts while cleaning out an abandoned Soho apartment in New York City. The collection had included bowls, figurines, and jugs that were all made by the Mayans between 300 BC and 500 AD, having an estimated value of $16,500. The artifacts would initially be discovered in a scuffed cardboard barrel that had been stored in a warehouse for years. He then decided to take a peek inside and was pleasantly surprised by the discovery. The barrel had been mistakenly considered trash during the cleanup of the apartment, and Demola kept it with the rest of the items that he had removed. But what was he doing there? Well, he had been hired to clean out the apartment of an abstract artist named Clinton Hill, who had passed away in 2003. Hill's possessions were left to his partner, Alan, who had died a few months later. Friends of the couple formed a non-profit foundation to take the valuable items from the studio. Hill's estate would pay DeMola $4,500 to clean out the apartment, the studio, and the basement storage. He then took the artifacts to an art dealer to have them appraised, and the most valuable item was a $1,000 stone axe god from the Mezcala region of Mexico. DeMola considered selling the pieces, but decided against it when the Mexican government claimed them. This would reaffirm his belief that there's always something valuable in the garbage, 
Although he doesn't collect ancient art, he does appreciate the history of the pieces and hopes that the artifacts will be shared with the public and put on display in various museums. Number 4. Bruff Superior's Motorcycles a treasure trove of vintage motorcycles would be unearthed in Cornwall, which were hidden away in barns for decades by a secretive collector. And they weren't just any old motorcycles, they were Bruff Superiors, the most coveted and luxurious bikes of their era, handcrafted in Nottingham factories by George Bruff, who spared no expense or detail. They were the ride of choice for celebrities and adventurers, such as Lawrence of Arabia. The collector would be Frank Vague, who had passed away in 2015. He had a passion for Bruff Superiors and amassed eight of them over the years. He had kept them in barns on his farm where they remain untouched for more than five decades. Bonhams is an auction house that specializes in rare and antique items. According to them, the motorcycles were not that easy to find. They had been buried underneath a lot of dust and debris and had to be dug out and then cleaned up. One of the bikes stood out from the rest. It featured four cylinders instead of two, making it more powerful and rare. Bonham said that only eight of those bikes were ever manufactured, and this was the last one to be located. And how much was it worth? A whopping 120,000 British pounds. The motorcycles were a remarkable discovery and a unique opportunity for buyers to come. Number 3. A Japanese Landmine Coffee was tending to her garden when she found an object buried deep in the dirt. After taking it inside of her home to clean it up, she then noticed that it had some Japanese lettering on it and googled the object. Shockingly, her search would reveal that the object was, in fact, a live mortar, and the coffees immediately contacted the authorities. Responding law enforcement agents and bomb disposal experts were then forced to block off roads and secure the area for many hours as they handled the explosive device. The story only gets far more intriguing when you consider how the mortar wound up buried in Missouri, thousands upon thousands of miles away from the Japanese army that had used them. Coffee thought that perhaps the people that owned the place before had used the property as a junkyard. The experience is one that the coffees will never forget, and they now plan on investing in a metal detector before doing any more work in the backyard. Number 2. First edition of Frankenstein A Reddit user's sibling bought the old home of her childhood neighbor and then began making some renovations and improvements. During the renovation efforts, they would stumble upon a copy of Mary Shelley's classic horror novel Frankenstein, and to their surprise, it turned out to be a rare first edition signed by the author herself. They took it to an antiques book dealer who then verified the authenticity. Apparently, the previous owners were avid travelers and had picked up the book during a European trip. Instead of locating it inside of a safety deposit box at the bank, they then stashed it away inside of their home, and it's suspected that their distrust of banks had stemmed from growing up during the Great Depression. Number 1. A Bronze-Aged Sword While fishing beside an old stepping stone in 1965, Ambrose Owens found a sword in the river. Not knowing much about its history, it was left in an old barn on his family farm and then rediscovered by his brother Maurice. Experts were called in to examine the sword, which the community had believed may have been connected to a battle, but they found out that it was actually a rare Bronze Age artifact going all the way back to between 800 and 600 BC. Archaeologist Paul Loge believes that the sword belonged to a high-ranking warrior and was deliberately broken before being placed in the river as an offering to the gods. The sword's design is thought to have originated in the Thames Valley in England, and the bronze alloy that was used could have very well come from County Cork and Cornwall, revealing ancient trade links. This sword is priceless in the literal sense, and one of the most valuable finds of that era. It's not every day that you simply find an ancient artifact inside of your barn or a river. And if you did, what would you do? Sell it off for a high price or donate it to a museum? Let me know all about your thoughts in the comments section down below.